What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, I'm gonna share with you guys one of the most common questions that gets asked on this channel is how to create layers in long hair. I'm gonna show you guys how to create some uh, nice layers using a dry hair cutting technique, but I also wanna share with you guys creating a face frame and a textured fringe that uh, has kind of a curtain fringe feel to it. So I think you guys are really gonna dig this technique. Can't wait to share it with you. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by figuring out where we wanna section off the fringe. So you saw me place my comb right on the forehead area. I'm just balancing it, looking to see where that curve happens. When it starts to curve up towards that crown area, that's where I'm gonna draw my triangle. So you can see I take that triangle out of the front and then I clip that away. I use a nice light clip in the mid shaft area it's much easier when you're doing dry cutting to get a crease out of the mid shaft area than it is to get it out of the base. So um, I clip it just nice and low there. Then I take a circle section out of the crown. You can see me take that. I'll twist it up out of the way and then I'll clip it. Now the, the last little bit, I don't want to section too much with dry hair. So now I'm just going to start my cutting vertical section straight down center back. I'm going to do a point cutting technique. You can see the shortness in that layer. Um, so I just elevate the hair nice and high. I look at the length, which is at the bottom part of my finger. And then I just go in and do a deep point cut, real jagged edge, because what I'm trying to do is create a nice softness to the line. So instead of going through cutting a blunt line, I like that choppiness that creates soft feel in this haircut. I'm following the round of the head. So we're just going to work our way around all the way around to the temple. Uh, doing the same exact thing on both sides. So we'll continue doing that and then we'll start on the next section. Okay, so now looking at both sides, you can see those layers like really building up and you can see the length that's on the opposite side that we haven't cut yet. Just look at the difference in that shape. So now we're gonna go through and we're gonna do the same type of layering, elevating everything up in the air, deep point cut all the way around the head. All right, so now we've completed the layers all the way around the head. You can see all that movement. This haircut's really turning out cool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the top section. Pretty simple. I take the entire crown and I pull it over the fringe area and I grab a guide from the back. So that's the length that I'm gonna cut it so it connects in the back and I go through and I do a deep point cut to cut my line and I keep working that till I get a full clean line through and then I go through and I fan it with my fingers. So I put it in my fingers and I bend my finger to fan it out and then I go through and point cut nice and deep to take away some of that density in this cut make it nice and light so you can see that short to long layering that we created by over directing everything forward so you can see longer length in the back connects into the back and you got the shorter pieces in the front layers exploding everywhere already I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this now we've got the fringe uh, fringe is pretty simple break it into two parts center parting Bring one piece over to you and twist it in your fingers towards yourself and point cut through it. What the twisting is going to do is give you a little extra over direction, a little extra safety net. The point cutting is going to make it nice and soft so you get the two things that are going to help work in your favor. And then we're going to go through and we're going to slide cut it to blend it right now. So take a vertical section, pull everything in front of the face, use your guideline from the fringe and just half close that scissor, slide it down uh, and work your way through. So it's a half close of the scissor working my way down the hair shaft. So those of you guys wondering, I'm using the Mizutani Puffin dry cutting scissor. It's a five and a half inch scissor. It's my favorite one. We have it available on shopfsc.com. So if you're looking for a new scissor, we have payment plans available as well. So uh, go check it out on there. Now we finish up the fringe. So what I do is just grab some individual pieces, a little bit of tease cutting. So half close of the scissor, hold out those pieces. And now I'm gonna finish it up light hairspray, add it in a little bit of texture spray. And you can see how it comes off the face, opens up the face, nice little fringe area as well. Tons of layers. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.
All right, guys, and one more thing before I go. If you are looking to take your education to the next level, I'm launching a brand new virtual hands-on haircutting workout session. Uh, we're gonna do it four weeks in a row, starting September 14th. So if you wanna be a part of that, it's $99 for all four sessions, super cheap, uh, but it's a one-on-one -on -one experience. We're gonna do it through Zoom so I can see you guys working. So if you wanna be a part of it, go sign up at shopfse.com, that's shop. FSE, it's on the front page, just click the link, or I'll put the link in the description of this video, uh, but I hope to see you guys there. Uh, cool, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video, thanks. By the way guys, freesaloneducation.com is powered by my friends at Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture or equipment, they're the best in the business. Uh, they've been supporting free salon education for a long time, so go give them some support. Uh, check out minervabeauty.com and at Minerva Beauty on Instagram.